only a month ago we were here at Wembley for the final, the Euros. We didn't quite make it and get mm. over the line on, on penalties. But mm. what, what do England need to do now to, to just go that one stage further? Maybe at the World Cup in Qatar next year? Keep developing. It was a young squad and... Um, you can't, uh, you can't take away the fact that experience is key in these sort of tournaments and we saw that with the Italian team, you look at the two centre-backs, the ages and the experience they had and that thing can sometimes get you over the line. I think now it's time to, for those younger players to develop, they'll all be so much better for the experience of it. Winning mentality is a hard thing, it only comes when you win, you know, mm. so you, you talk about it, you build it up. I, thought, I saw a great spirit from the outside in the team. So hopefully with another year and a half to Qatar and the development of the players and, and, and Gareth and the team and the way we're playing, then we can have a real good go at it. I remember 2004, you came back from the from the Euros. You ended up winning the league and Footballer of the Year that season. Mm. Can someone like, let's say, Mason Mount, who's had a, a fantastic year anyway, but can mm. he come back and, and get even better? Yeah, yeah, that he can and they can. The young players there, you know, people like Declan Rice, Phil Foden, Sancho's coming to the Premier League now. I think they will be better for whatever their experiences were, whether it ended in disappointment to different degrees, of course, because they didn't win and they would have been desperate to do that. Once the dust settles, I think you appreciate that you've got a tournament like that behind you. I certainly felt the confidence off the back of that. So hopefully they feel that and they take it back to their club football. Mm. And in terms of club football, I mean, Chelsea and Man City are the clubs you're most associated with. They're spending big, they're, they're, they're really pushing on. They competed in the Champions League final. Mm. Do you think it's a straight shootout with those two or do you think Liverpool and City, uh, and United and no, others maybe? I, I think you, you can't discount Manchester United. They were not far off last year and they've, and they've gone again and, and I think brought in really impressive signings and I think Liverpool will be the same. <laughs> They missed huge players for injury for a big part of last season and the year before they were one of the best teams that we've seen in the Premier League. So you definitely can't discount those as much as you can't discount the teams pushing those from, from beneath or just behind. The Leicesters, we saw them win at the weekend. West Ham improved greatly. Other teams, Aston Villa, you know, they lose Jack Grealish but they're bringing in really strong players and have a stronger squad. So it makes for an exciting uh, season and, um, and we'll see, we'll see. West Ham, your first club, they're back in Europe. They did well last year, sixth in the to win to, to come sixth and, and qualify. Can you see them having a good season? Yeah, I can. I, I think they've got a really good manager in David Moyes, really experienced, and now absolutely getting credit for the job that he's he's doing and done there. Um, they have a, a good squad of players, which it seems they'll pretty much keep and maybe add to slightly. We'll see in the rest of the window. Declan Rice has come through as an emerging talent, who seems to me the leader of the team and. The, Real character in the middle of the team. They're, they're a strong team. I think they'll do well in the league again, and I think in the Europa League it's up to them. I think they could have a really good run. And finally, you've been out of football for six months or so. You, you, you're out here with the kids today. Is it got you itching to get back into management? Um, I love being here. I love being at Wembley and working with, albeit you know, with five to eleven year olds, it's the same thing. You get the same enjoyment out of trying to improve players, and I loved doing that when I was coaching and managing at Derby and at Chelsea. So um, I, I've enjoyed uh, family time. It's something that. So I've neglected, but sport sometimes consumes you, so you spend a lot of time on the road and working, and particularly in management, thinking. Um, and it's not been the worst for me to be at home, and actually we've had a, a new son, so I've, yeah. I've enjoyed that time. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm itching. There's a few things in the summer that weren't quite right. Decided to, 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 to not take, spend a bit more time at home and see what comes up.